New at 11, a Queensbury man had to be rescued after falling through the ice while he was trying to ice skate. First responders are reminding people tonight of the dangers and when it's safe to go out on the ice. News 10 ABC's Tamara Starr has the rescue story. Multiple fire and rescue teams saved a 74-year-old Queensbury man after he broke through the ice while skating on Glen Lake Tuesday morning. Fire officials say that he was in the water for 15 to 20 minutes, but his injuries were not life-threatening. The rescue efforts were led by Bay Ridge Fire. They used boats and cold water rescue equipment to save him. Now officials like Amory Mason from Warren County Emergency Services are reminding people about when it's safe to step on the ice. What they should be looking out for is to make sure that there is three to four inches of solid thick ice. A lot of what's been happening here is we've had ice build up, but then we've had it melt and we've had rain on top of it. So it kind of degrades the ice. Ranger Jason Scott works for the New York State Forest Rangers, and he says that his department does a lot of flat ice rescue training. He also says there is a big misconception when it comes to getting out of the ice safely after falling through. A lot of times people think they can just climb and climb back up and get back on the ice, and that's not the case. It's actually getting your body in that horizontal swimming position and swimming onto the ice, dispersing your weight once you get back onto that shelf of ice and working your way, crawling or rolling back onto the, the safer ice. Ranger Scott also says it's important to get familiar with local lakes and parks. Local knowledge of your lakes um, is, is really critical. Knowing where those channels are and where those notorious spots of having bad ice, knowing those spots and staying away from them. Now, whether you want to go out in the lake and go ice skating or even ice fishing, Ranger Scott recommends that each person should make sure that they're wearing warm layers as well as carrying an ice pick to make sure that you don't fall into the ice. Reporting in Queensbury, Tamara Starr, News 10 ABC.